Gamescom has given us plenty of things over the last week, including the pre-orders for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which went live this week as well. Let's talk about it. As of right now, there are three editions that you can choose from. The Standard Edition, the Gold Edition, and last but not least, the Collector's Edition. The Standard Edition comes with the base game. This edition retails for $59.99 US for PC and $69.99 for Xbox and PS5. The Gold Edition comes at a $20 premium, making it $79.99 on PC and $89.99 on consoles. For that, you get the Gallant Huntsman's Kit, containing the hunting cap of St. Hubert, which is the patron of hunters, the crossbow of the Greek goddess of the hunt, Artemis, and the elegant hunting cloak of Nimrod, the biblical hunter. In addition, it includes the expansion pass, which gives you access for three future DLCs. Given the fact that KCD1 DLCs were overall very well crafted and fit the story quite well, I believe that this edition right here, the Gold Edition, is the best one to buy. The Gold Edition also comes with Shields of Seasons Passing, which allows you to create custom shields, which in my case will likely be the shield of my birthplace. And then finally, we have the Collector's Edition, if you can snatch it before they're all gone. The Collector's Edition runs $199.99. This essentially means you're paying $120 premium for consoles or $130 premium for PC for all the swag. It includes everything from the Gold Edition plus a bunch of loot in the form of a majestic looking 12 inch statue of Henry and his horse Pebbles. There will be a cloth map of Cuttenberg, an enamel pin set featuring the Lords of Lipa, Prague and the Cuman Shield, the Letter of Hope Hans took to Trotsky Castle and the King's Rebels collectible card set. Now for pre-ordering any of these editions you get the Lion's Crest DLC, which will be available day one. After completing this quest you'll get a pole arm, dagger, whole plate armor and a protective and decorative blanket for your horse. These items belong to the famous Knight Brunswick who according to legend fought a dragon together with a lion. During the fight, the lion's tail was split in two. This is the reason the Bohemian lion has two tails. It is shown here as the biggest shield. If you look at the other shields, you will find out that there's other heraldry from KCD2 here, such as the Rosenbergs, Burgau, and the heraldry from our old good Sir Hans Capon. This is a page from the Helga Amorial, a medieval manuscript containing over 1700 coats of arms. It was painted around the same time as the events in Kingdom Come Deliverance. I know some people have reservations when it comes down to pre-ordering games and I'm no different. I've gotten burned in the past and I just don't like that at all. But we also have to understand that this is War Horse and Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is not EA and COD where the cookie cutter games is the same thing all over again. And if you don't expect it or you're expecting more you always come back disappointed. I don't think that's going to be the case here with Warhorse. They pushed Kingdom Come to 2025 because they want to make sure that the game is good. Which means that it is going to be good. And I cannot wait to play it. And as such, I'm going to be putting up my money and I will be pre-ordering this game. So I can play it on release and I will have access to that DLC. And I think that everyone that's watching this video should really consider doing the same. Especially if you played KCD1 and you liked it. I think it's a foregone conclusion. If you are new to the franchise, you should really play Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 because that's supporting the creator, Warhorse, and then you will probably end up pre-ordering KCD2 as well because KCD1, if it sucks you in in the first hour or two, that is going to be the way to go forward. The fact that it won Best PC Game at Gamescom is also a clear indicator that this game is going to be a force to be reckoned with. And most people who had hands-on time said it was good as well. The game is set to release on PC, Xbox and PlayStation 5 on the 11th of February 2025. Now I really wonder what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you buying it day one? Are you doing the pre-order like I am? Or are you waiting until the reviews roll in? It's going to be very interesting to find out what you guys' thoughts are on this. As always, hashtag game for the sake of gaming. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like this video, please... Hit that like button, of course, and consider subscribing, trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And as always, I will see you guys on the flip side. Take care.